Gemini 3 just came out and everyone is talking about the crazy user interfaces that it can build. But what no one is showing you is how you can build full stack apps with a functioning a usable backend. Since that is something you cannot do inside Google AI Studio. But that changes today. Because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that with the simplest and easiest way possible. From building a professional looking interface to creating a full backend database, then giving you the option to integrate thousands of third party apps and finally deploying it to the cloud so everyone can use it. So if that's as interesting, let's dive right in. Now as I said before, Google AI Studio is very good for building nice looking interfaces like this. But the problem you will very quickly run upon is that you cannot actually turn this into a full app because you don't have the option to create a functioning backend. That's why in this video we're going to use an app that is called Imagine AI, which is basically an AI app builder that allows you to use Gemini 3 and it can also automatically go and create a fully functioning backend for you. So if you want to access Imagine AI, make sure you go and click the top link in the description and you go and sign up for a completely free account so you can follow along with this video. And once you have done that, it is time to start building an app. Now for this example, let's say we want to build an app for medical clinic owners where people will be able to take a look at all the services that they're offering and also go and book appointments from inside the app's interface. So to do that, I will simply come over here in Imagine AI's text box and type I want to build a medical clinic app where information about the services of that business is going to be displayed and also people have the option to go ahead and book an in-person meeting with a doctor. I want you to make this website super clean with nice animations and a very modern looking design. Go ahead and build me this website. So as you can see that is the prompt that we're going to use and it's actually a pretty simple prompt and that is because we don't have to really give it very concise instructions since we're using the best model for building interfaces which is Gemini 3 Pro. And now all I'm going to do is I will simply come over here and click on enter. And as you can see Imagine AI has started building our app using Gemini 3. So now all we have to do is to wait a little bit till it is done. But as you can see first it is asking us some clarifying questions since we didn't really specify these functions in our initial prompt. Which is a very good sign because it means that it actually understands the main point of the app and just needs some more information in order for it to go and fully build it. Now for the first thing which is the booking functionality of the app, I'm actually going to come over here and tell it that the booking should be happening in real time in a calendar section. Then for the second I'm going to say the services should be for a dental clinic. And then for the third, since I don't have any design preferences, I'm actually going to tell it do exactly what you think with the design. And then click on enter. And now that we've successfully answered these three questions, it is going to start encoding our app for us. And as you can see, Emergent AI is creating a batch of these different things for us. And the good thing with Emergent is that if you want, you can simply click on this arrow over here and basically see the exact changes that it is making. Which to a lot of people might not actually be very useful, but if you're actually a technical person and you want to take a look at the code, that could be a feature that you can use to understand your app even better. And as you can see, it just gave us this very nice looking front end interface, but it is still running because it is using its testing agent, which what that agent does is it basically goes and clicks on random places in this app in order for it to find errors to the code so you can then go and fix them. Which means that this agent does all the testing of the app for you, which is a feature that can definitely come very handy. So I will actually let it run so it finishes and then we're going to go and take a look at the full interface that it just created. And boom, as you can see the agent just finished running and we can also see exactly what it did from these screenshots over here. Since it literally went and clicked on a bunch of these buttons in our app's interface in order for it to see if it is functioning correctly. So now that it did that, it's time we also go and we take a look at the front-end interface that we managed to create. And from the first look of it, I do gotta admit, this does look very good guys, like this definitely doesn't look like it was generated with AI. As you can see we have some very nice copy over here, then we also have an image of our dental clinic, then we have some information about the services along with pricing over here. And as you can see it also has this super sleek and smooth animations when I hover over the services. And over here at the bottom we also have the calendar section where we can book our visit. 
so let's say i want to book my visit for this day and this time and then i come over here and fill in all of my information and let's say i want to do teeth widening and then simply come over here and click on confirm boom as you can see we get this confirmation over here that our appointment was successfully created and as you can see this is literally exactly what we wanted and we just managed to create it with one simple prompt simply because gemini 3 is that good of a model when it comes to creating front and interfaces so now we do have the front and interface of our thumbnail down what we need to do is to also go and create our backend and that's where imagine ai will really come in handy because all we have to do to create a backend for our app is to simply come over here and say something like hey i want to create a backend database for my app where i can store the information that gets inserted inside it so let's start by creating a user authentication section where the user will be able to first sign up with an account and then he can log into it and use our app and after this prompt all i have to do is to simply come over here and click on enter and that's literally it guys now imagine ai will literally go and create this backend with user authentication for us without us having to lift a finger and as you can see imagine ai went over and made all these changes and now all we have to do is to wait till the agent is also done executing and boom guys the agent just finished running as well so if i right now come over here and open this in a brand new tab you guys can see that we have a sign in option over here which if i actually click i can come over here and sign up let's say for example sign up with my email and password and i click on create account and then i'm logged in inside my account where i can access the app from there but ideally we would want the user to first have to sign up for an account and then he's able to use the app so to make this change i will actually come back over to emergent and i will say something like hey make sure the user first has to sign up for an account and then he can use the app since if he doesn't have an account he shouldn't be able to use it and then i will simply come over here and click on enter so now emergent goes and makes that small change for us and boom emergent ai just finished creating that feature as well and just so you guys can see the app is literally locked and i'm prompted to sign up for an account first and once i do then i will be able to come over here and log into my account as i just did right now which means that we successfully managed to build a backend database where we can store all of our users information so now that we successfully managed to build this full app it is time we also go and deploy it over to the cloud so basically anyone with a link can access it now to do that we simply have to come over here and click on the share button and then we simply have to close this off and over here you will be able to see a button that says deploy so all you have to do is to simply come over here and click on it and then you can immediately come over here and start the deployment or you can also run a health check which basically reviews the code before deploying your app and i would actually advise you to run that after you're done running the check simply come over here and click on start deployment which is a process that is going to take one or two minutes and then your app is going to be live on the web hosted by Imagine AI which means that anyone with a link will be able to access it but now what I also want to show you is how you can integrate literally thousands of third-party apps inside the app that we have built in this video and how you can do that is by coming over here in your home page and coming all the way down here to the right clicking on advanced controls where you will be able to see that you're actually able to use mcp tools which means that you can connect into any third-party mcp that there is and guys there are thousands of third-party mcp tools now to connect to these mcp tools all you have to do is to come over here and click on select mcp tool and as you can see imagine ai does have some already configured specifically the superbase mcp and also the notion mcp but you also have the option to come and add in a custom mcp server this is basically where all the magic happens since you can go and connect to google sheets google drive gmail or any third party that actually has an mcp tool which are thousands of apps but what i would personally advise you to do is to connect to an automation platform where you have already connected all your third party applications now this third party app can either be zapier it can be make.com it can be anything it can be basically any automation platform since all of them do have mcp tools and then very recently actually launched their own mcp tool and since i mainly intend to use nn i'm going to show you how you can connect the app that you build with imagine ai to your nn mcp tool from which you will then be able to access basically any automation that you have built inside your nn instance 
So to do that, you have to go over to anything.io, which I will also leave a link for in the description below. And then you have to come down here to your profile tab and click on these three dots on the bottom left corner and then come over here and click on settings and then you will see this tab pop up now all you have to do is to simply navigate over here and select mcp access and this interface is going to pop up now the first thing that you have to do is to simply come over here and actually enable the n10 mcp and then all you have to do is to navigate over here in the access token section and then simply come over here and click on the drop down menu which is going to give you this snipper of code which if you can see is the exact same snipper of json code that imagine ai requires from us in order for it to be able to connect to this mcp server so i will actually come over here in the mcp name i will call this n10 then for the description i will say access my n10 workflows and then for the json configuration i will simply come back over to n10 where i have this as snippet of json and what you need to do is to come over here to where you see your access token and simply click on a refresh because what this is going to do is it is going to come over here and input your API token inside the authorization section because I now as you can see it has a fake dummy value once you click on this regenerate button it's actually going to put it in so make sure you come you click on this refresh button and then you come over here and you copy all the snippet of code exactly as I did over here so now I'll simply come over here and copy it and then I'm going to come back over to Imagine AI. I will simply paste in the snippet of JSON code I just copied and I will come over here and click on verify and save. And boom, as you can see, we successfully managed to add our N10 MCP server inside Imagine AI. And all we have to do to use it is to simply come over here and turn this on. But we need to do one more thing inside N10 and that is to simply close this interface and go back in our initial N10 instance. And then all we have to do is to select the workflow that we want our app to use. Let's say for example, I want my app to use this workflow over here that I have as an AI agent. The first thing that I'm going to do is I will come over here in the end workflow description and I will actually describe what this workflow is about. Since MCP tools actually do use the descriptions that you have for your workflows in order for them to know exactly how to use it. This is an AI agent that uh, has access to the Google Calendar and Google Docs. It retrieves information from it and it goes and creates events in the person's Google Calendar. And now that I actually gave the description, I will come over here and click on save. And then I will come back in my Anything instance. I will turn this workflow from inactive over to active. And then I will click on got it. And then all I have to do is to navigate next to this workflow and click on these three dots over here to the right. And then I simply need to come over here and select enable MCP access. And boom, as you can see, we have this log over here where if we hover over it, it says available in MCP. So now any app we go and we build from Imagine AI is going to be able to access that Anything workflow via the Anything MCP server. Now the only cover to that is that you first have to enable MCP tools and then build the front end interface of your app. But I do think that Imagine AI is definitely going to add in an option as well to be able to enable the MCP tools even after your first prompt. But still, even the fact that I do have access to MCP tools and you can basically connect to any third party app that you want is ridiculously impressive and something that no other AI app builder has. Now if you want access to all the prompts that I used to build this very nice looking front end interface, make sure you click the second link in my description and you come and join my free school community where these assets are going to be waiting for you inside. And also make sure you click the top link in the description and you go and sign up to Imagine AI. So you can use the power of Gemini 3 and combine it with the power of Imagine AI in order for you to create a very nice looking app and also be able to create a functioning backend and deploying it very easily to the cloud along with obviously being able to access all the MCP tools that you want. So again, make sure you click the top link in the description and you go and sign up to Imagine AI. And also YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy this video in which I built an AI dropshipping assistant app using Imagine AI. So make sure you go and watch that next and I will see you over there.